Hey, what's going on, y'all? Okay, so I'm getting ready to do a Divine Masculine read. And let's just see what comes out. I'm pulling from my deck, A Moment in Truth Oracle. Um, you can purchase this deck on my website, which you can find that link in my bio, okay? Now, um, I must warn you, these cards will take some time because they are made to order, all right? But however, I am running a special, you guys. Um, you can get one question for $5, two questions for $8, three questions for $12. Um, you just got to cash at me, okay? So uh, I'll leave my cash app handle on the screen i forgot to leave it on the last video i said i was but i, I literally forgot y'all if i forget again just simply leave a comment okay um or go back to my page and you'll see it posted somewhere all right but let's see what's going on here with divine masculine's energy so divine masculine or your divine masculine could be making head over heart decisions They're tapping into their inner wisdom and illuminating the path ahead, okay? So I feel like I'm pulling in two different divine masculine types, okay? So someone who is still operating in logic and then we got someone who's listening to their inner wisdom, their intuition, okay? Divine masculine is talking to friends and family about you. This also could be past energies too where first they were making head over heart decisions and bam now they're tapping into their intuition boom take it how it resonates okay all right so why are they making head over heart decisions four of cups because they're they're contemplating okay this setup divine masculines um, haven't really awakened yet and they still contemplating here over some things all right and they could be very discontent as well and they're too busy focus here on the past is how i'm hearing it. it's like they're whatever they're focused on it's like it got too much of their attention where they don't actually see the blessing that's right there in front of them the king of cups comes out in the reverse so these particular divine masculines are highly triggered okay they are not tapped into their intuition this is why they are making head over heart decisions all right y'all so let's go to the ones who are tapped in tell me about the divine masculines that are tapped in Woo! they going they were going through it seven of wands comes out and the nine of wands comes out this is a lot of adversity a lot of opposition coming at them okay and what i'm seeing here is like they may have just surrendered that's what i heard you know what let me just surrender here because it's just too much blocking my path and since they surrendered they gained this wisdom and now they can see you know what i'm saying it's not and what i just heard was like the biggest obstacle or opposition was themselves was divine masculine yeah ace of swords in the reverse that's why they weren't clear again because however go all divine masculines at some point were making head over heart decisions this is why they weren't clear and wasn't getting the clarity or the breakthroughs in their life so what is divine masculine talking to friends and family about <laughs> high priestess they're talking about what they are learning from their subconscious from their higher self they're talking about the path ahead okay when it comes to you when it comes to divine feminine they're talking about and i'm hearing like the ideas yep the two of cups comes out it's like they got this in the two of pentacles so what i'm hearing is like their inner guidance is telling them it's time for them to make some type of choice and so the divine masculine is um talking to friends about and family about that what what about the choice okay yeah four wands comes out especially when it comes to um building some type of foundation with divine feminine okay um That's a twin flame card too as well. Hmm. 
it's a lot of positive feelings this set of divine masculines have okay and they look at this as a stable and very supportive relationship on top of that okay and it's like a sense of community here and whoever they're talking to again they feel like a sense of community as well it's like bam nine of cups the happiness card comes out <laughs> um wish fulfillment card page of pentacles and the reverse okay so again their ego was getting in the way of their happiness of their desires all right of their prayer being answered you know that's what was stopping them from being able to really manifest something here um and moving forward especially in their material world because divine masculine has been hoping wishing praying whatever for a lot of things okay so um they're getting advice basically I want to pull here from my other Oracle deck. Let me pull something real quick, y'all. Tell me about this. Yeah, at one point, the masculine was definitely not loyal or ambitious. And it, this masculine is like, they're watching you. It's like they, they're watching, they're reflecting. I got the creeping card and the reflecting. It's like they're watching you secretly. <laughs> I don't know what I'm getting, but it's like they're gaining some wisdom in this process. And what I just heard is like somebody's masculine could be even um, reading or pulling tarot. <laughs> and so again the ideas that they're getting as they're reflecting and as they're watching they're also telling their friends and or their family member about those ideas okay so mm -hmm. strength so divine masculine is trying to gain the strength or the confidence like they may have had a lot of doubt at one point mm -hmm. the star card comes out but you are basically a dream come true and so it's all about them just really believing in themselves and having that self-confidence and knowing that you know they can actually manifest this the magician comes out the whole time, again, like I said, it's like the obstacle for divine masculine was themselves. Them not believing in themselves. Them not feeling like they are good enough. Um, but again, this is the end of a very difficult situation is how I'm hearing it. King of Michaels. That's that wisdom and objectivity. So your masculine may come to you and have some type of honest conversation with you as well. I'm, I'm definitely hearing 818 on the timer. Yep, decision. Definitely about some type of decision that needs to be made. Again, it's like they're getting the intuitive downloads about this too as well. And so what I'm hearing is like their intuition, their inner wisdom is also telling them like there's nothing to worry about. This is unnecessary worry. It's like my lack of self-confidence or belief in myself is what's holding me back because they're getting the ideas. OK, with the Ace of Michaels, it's just the simple fact that whatever bumps in the road that they they, they experience is what was hindering their progress. And so once the masculines, you know, begin to um, communicate and express themselves, OK, um, yeah, they're going to come forward. So whatever it is that they're speaking to these your friends and family or their friends and family about, literally, they're going to begin to communicate these things with you because they're beginning to see, you know, it was me. That's what I just heard somebody say. It was me. I was the block. I was the bump in the road. Wow. All right, y'all. So that's it okay i'm ready to hang it up for two nights um if you did already purchase from my special um your readings are done i'm getting ready to upload them and email them to you okay so again if you want to take advantage of that definitely um send me the cash app okay and then i'll email you 
and then we can get it started. All right, y'all, hit the like button. Peace.